All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and go fishing. This is, uh, this is my apartment building. So, let's see how this works out. Let's see if we can catch some, some decent fish today and have an awesome fishing day before we start the day. Not that I have a whole lot to do today, but I still got some stuff to do today, so I won't be able to really fish for hours and hours. My friend Shane is meeting us up. So that dude is a killer, killer fisherman. That dude, is, he takes no prisoners when it comes to catching fish. So let's see if he, uh, let's see if he can uh, pull him out of the water this time. It's it's kind of cold today. It's about somewhere in the mid 50s. Um, so bass become a lot harder to catch in those kind of temperatures because the fish become really lethargic. How you doing? All right. So we're gonna. Anyway, so the fish become really lethargic and they're just, they're just a lot harder to catch and they're not quite as energetic. So we need to do some finesse fishing or some, uh, or use some kind of something called bud, buzz baits or anything that attracts their attention by vibrating in the water. And we'll see if we can catch them. Oh man, there's a bunch of amp bombs here. And what I mean by amp bombs, I mean, uh, <clears throat> there's a bunch of amp piles full of, uh, fire ants and carpenter ants and they really don't feel very good once they've crawled up on you because about five minutes of standing in place if you're near one they will you don't even feel them crawling up on you at first they just show up next thing you know your ankles feel like they're on fire and uh see about 50 or 60 ants on you so you drop everything that you have in your hand hopefully you don't drop it on the water you start slapping at yourself Slap at your ankles, slap at your waist, slap at everything you could possibly see. You start running and stomping. You look like an idiot in front of everybody that's probably watching you. So, all right, guys. So this is where this hole right here. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. That hole right there, right here. That's where I. Uh, that's where I caught the big, massive bass, and it was huge. I don't know how much it weighed, but I'm going to estimate it was probably at least a four to five pound bass at 19 inches long, it was massive. And so this is kind of our honey hole right here. Shane should be meeting me here soon. And um, let's see if we can catch here, man. All right, let's go for it. I'm gonna switch baits really quickly and come back. A few moments later. Okay, got a fish. Got a fish, guys, I got a fish. Oh, wow, it's pulling, that's pulling. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh no, I lost it! Oh no, 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 no! No! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I lost the fish. Oh, dude, he took my fucking bait too, that bastard. Oh, man. I finally caught a fish. Oh no, he didn't take my bait, he got it. Son of a gun, dude. Oh, dude, that's horrible. That That's like, it was like getting shot in the stomach, dude. That's horrible. Okay, my friend Shane caught one. Tiny one. Huh? Still? Fish still a fish. Oh wow. Nice. Nice. All right. his tail. Look at that. Missing part of his tail. Oh yeah. yeah. Little dink, but still counts. Still counts. All right. So we've been fishing out here for a while now. We we I missed one. Shane caught a little tiny one, but. Uh, at least we didn't get skunked, so we're uh, catching them. They're just the bites coming on a lot harder than I thought it would. It, the, if we get some haze, not that I expect any because it seems pretty clear in the sky, but if we get some haze, there's a pretty good chance we can start catching more fish. So as soon as those fish feel like there's more cover, that's when they start coming out a little bit more and start getting a little bit braver. But right now, they are not coming out, at least not, uh, not without a fight. My back's starting to hurt. I can't do this for too long. Much ever since the car accident, I have not been. Oh God, I got it right where I wanted it. Got it right where I wanted it. Right in, right in that hole. Right in the middle of that hole. Oh. I'm not sure if I have a fish or if I have just weeds. 
A fish in the weeds. Oh no, I caught a fish, guys. Yep. Okay, let's be smart about this. Oh, he's always oh, be hidden. He's behind a weed. He's got me behind a weed. He's got to keep the pressure up so he doesn't. Uh... Either that's a really big fish, or he's yeah, he's he's got a. Yeah, he's still on there. They're in the cuts, dude. He's got me behind a weed. He's got me behind a weed. Damn it! Oh crap! And they don't normally. I can I can see him behind the. Oh, got him, I, dude. This is pretty big fish. Oh no 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 no! He's just behind a weed. Got him. Okay, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Yeah, I think it is. No, I think it's a large mouth. It just happens to be a lot more blacker than the normal. Yeah, let me get my, uh, I probably shouldn't walk away from the fish like that. It's pretty stupid. But I think this is a tiny little one. This is, this is probably about not even a pound, maybe like a pound or so. Huh? Uh, he's pretty on, he's on the cool side. Yeah, he's not cold, but he's, it's cooler. Is it? Okay. So as you can see, guys, uh, let's see, let's grab this hook. And this should be easy to pull out too as well because it's right in its mouth. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Uh, ooh, its teeth are sharp. What do you think? That's a black bass. It's, it's kind of cool. A little cold. All right, he yeah. might have been down the bottom. All right. All right, guys, let's let him go. Come on, buddy, he can go. There you go. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Right, that's where they hide, dude, right in the cuts. That went right in that hole. I knew there was something in that hole. So I'm happy that I got it to go in there. Unfortunately, I think he took my bait. No, he didn't. So that's what he did to my bait. So let's uh, think of if I can untangle this bait now. And all right, see if we can uh, cast some in the cuts now that we know where they're at. Now, normally you don't get bites like that in the middle of the day. Again, it's because I tossed it way into that little crevice, that little gap in there. And that's kind of where you want to get it. It's in the gaps. Like right there. Perfect. So yeah, just damn dude. That that is a perfect cast into the hole. So hopefully that uh, pretty much allows us a fish. I think I felt some nipples at it too. My nipples. <laughs> so your mind is, I think that uh, that will allow us, or I, I think I felt some uh, nibbing there. Uh, I might have pulled it out too far. That shows where my mind is at. Nipples, my goodness. There's a lot of nipples in the water, guys. A lot of nipples. <laughs> My goodness, man, these guys are just not wanting to come out at all. Yeah, that one last cast is it. All right, if Shane's done, it's pretty much done, so. All right, let's go get my, my stuff. How you guys like my reel and rod, man? I got this for Christmas from my mom, and I think uh, uh, the reel came from uh, my wife for, and I think that was an early birthday present. But look, let me, it, tra it transitions colors. And so does the rod, so they're kind of a matching set, and I know I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love them. Thank you, babe. Thanks, mom. So, the color, I love the color change on this. Beautiful. Hopefully the camera caught that because I can't see anything. Alright guys, headed home. I'll upload this to Facebook and 
or YouTube first and then let you guys watch it on Facebook. Because if not, Facebook uses horrible compression. So 